Hi, I'm John Evans, and I've been invited to chat with Tim about the 25th anniversary of the Prime Ministry Council. And for all those folks out there this evening, I want to say thank you for working with me on the Prime Ministry Council TV show and a radio show. And for all the folks who didn't make it this evening, I want to thank you also for helping me uh, making those two uh, areas of the Prime Ministry Council very successful. I think it's, it's great, John, that uh, we're here because we want to recognize and thank all the folks over the years that have helped us accomplish everything that we've accomplished. It's been a great ride and we keep moving forward so that we can help people in education, employment, and training. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. And uh, now we're 25, 25 years in this organization. What a fantastic accomplishment in uh, providing services to, to uh, residents of Westmoreland and Fayette County. For, for over those years and uh, the impact that we're making with young people, um, mm -hmm. just employment and training programs, early childhood education, it's just fantastic. Absolutely. Well, Tim, I've been with the Private Institute Council for 11 years, and uh, in those 11 years I've seen tremendous changes in the uh, workforce development area, but also I've witnessed the flexibility of the Private Industry Council. And I, I guess from your standpoint, you start at the very beginning, you started at the front line, I guess we'll call it, uh, as a job uh, developer, is that Job right? developer, exactly right. We uh, went around and uh, talked to employers about getting involved in on-the-job training programs and trying to let them know that we could provide uh, help to them to train their workforce and get uh, folks mm -hmm. into uh, self-sustaining jobs and, and in situations where, where people can grow and uh, have careers. So you have a unique uh, perspective of the private industry council because yeah. you've worked your way up through the ranks, and to get back to what I was saying, flexibility of the Private Industry Council, um, it, it's just tremendous that uh, we're, our organization is able to adapt. And uh, from your standpoint, Tim, was that philosophy set like from the very beginning to be able to adapt and, and change when we have to? Well, I think as we evolve through the years, I always kind of refer to our organization as gap fillers, you know, which was the beauty of the nonprofit organization that we had in Westmoreland and Fayette County. Because you'd have a lot of different government programs, whether it be state or feds, and they would come down with different mandates to try to help dislocated workers or individuals that are coming off the welfare rolls, and they would have contingencies and restrictions to the types of things you wanted to get done. But with us, we could say, well, here's a piece of uh, that particular program that maybe the private industry council could come in and fill that gap mm -hmm. and, and really bring the program together. But because again, back to what we've been doing under the PIC connection and, and showing the whole partnership, Private Industry Council doesn't do anything in a vacuum. We're doing things and we're accomplishing things and we're being very successful because of the partnerships, collaborations, cooperations that we have with other community organizations to get um, things accomplished and to help people move forward and, and see a brighter future for themselves. I absolutely agree with you, Tim. We have uh, been able to uh, establish a lot of great relationships with many, many different organizations. And just to get back to the Private Industry Council TV show and also the Private Industry Council radio show, yeah. we have many, had to have many sponsors in the past that uh, wanted to sponsor your show because they know that the Private Industry Council is out there doing a lot of good things. So also, and there's a few more, but we do want to thank all of them for uh, sponsoring the show. But uh, as I have been, uh, had talked with these sponsors, in the past, they are excited to be working with the Private Industry Council because of all the stuff that we do uh, in the community. So that's that's a uh, real uh, plus for us. Yeah, that, that that's excellent. I mean, uh, to to you really can't thank them enough. And, and mm -hmm. they come forward and they got behind us and and the impact that they're helping us make in the community to to bring these programs to uh, to light for people or make them aware. It, it's tremendous outreach. You know, you you. You go through a lot of different modes of trying to reach people to make sure that the right people are getting involved in the programs that mm -hmm. you have to offer. And a lot of times, uh, people will watch cable TV. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So they're yeah. coming forward and they're saying, hey, maybe this is something I can take advantage of. And boy, what a, what a great way to mm -hmm. get involved. And, and you're right. I, a lot of folks come in and they look at our organization and they say, boy, you know, we're help you in trying to move forward in, in setting up some kind of business planning or strategic planning, a lot of times advice is you folks need to measure what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And they see with the Private Industry Council, I mean, we're doing that. Yeah. Every one of the 24 programs that we offer uh, have measurements and, and goals and objectives that we're trying to achieve to show folks 
the impact that we're making and, and what it's all about. So, you know, all through the years, uh, the board and, and their input and their expertise, you know, that's a lot of people went into making that happen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with the current board now, a fantastic uh, board that's sitting right now with us, provides a lot of great direction for this organization. And, you know, and I know they're as proud as I am to, uh, to what we have accomplished. Mm -hmm. One of the things you got to be proud about is where we're at today. Yeah, we're absolutely. We're sitting in this beautiful building that, uh, you know, when I first started with the private history council, we were renting a building, yeah. and uh, now we actually have our own building. Yeah, four years now we've been in our corporate center here on Donahue Road, and uh, again with the uh, um, uh, foresight of the board to say, hey, we can actually move forward and, and try to uh, provide better services in one location out here with adult education, our welfare to work initiatives. We have our private licensed school education and technology institute, all working interrelated and together to try to accomplish to help people move forward and become successful in career-oriented uh, mm -hmm. opportunities. Mm -hmm. we're, we're good at what we do mm -hmm. and we're good at what we do because of the people we have working in the organization and the pride and the passion that the staff has. Um, boy, to just see that uh, and, and different offices. I know you're working at Fed Career Link and go in there and see what those people uh, do on a day-to-day -day basis or, or to go over to our, you know, our Head Start centers yeah. and, and watch our teachers in the classrooms and, and the interaction they're having with the young kids and, mm -hmm. and just, just the impact and, and helping, helping with self-esteem and, and uh, yeah. making a transition to school and all those things. It's, it's just really uh, something to watch and see and it, and it gives you hope that there's a bright future for us here in this area as we, as we continue to move forward. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you mentioned Head Start. Uh, you know, since we've been doing the TV shows and the radio shows, I had an opportunity, or I have had the opportunity to work with uh, the folks over in, in the Head Start division. You know, I, I don't work over there, but I'm really proud yeah. of those people over there absolutely. for what they've accomplished and the educational status that they've obtained uh, to run that division. And, and it is really an outstanding division, and that, that's always looked at, too. Uh, from the state as being one of the better ones. Right, the, the Head Start and Early Head Start grant is a federal grant, and the folks from the Health and Human Services will come out once every three years, and they put us through the white glove mm -hmm. um, treatment as far as monitoring and review, and they always walk away saying that we've got one of the best organizations, one of the best Head Start programs in the state of Pennsylvania, because, like I said, of the things that we do, the facilities that we have, the passionate staff that we have, the credentials that, that our uh, staff holds. Uh, our teachers are certified to t teach in the state yeah. of Pennsylvania. Yeah. And we have nurses on staff to help. And I think a lot of times, too, one of the things I refer to is safety. You know, we've been a flexible organization. We've been able to adapt where maybe many other organizations have not been able to do that and have not survived. But uh, we have been able to do to do that, uh, adapt and, and change, and I, I think we'll continue to do that. But um, as the leader, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we we have shown a lot of growth in the different th uh, divisions that we have. So we have three different divisions within the private industry council: early childhood division, workforce development, and education. And uh, as you know too, I mean, right now we're in an era where a lot of the uh, monies that are coming down for these programs are tightening up and and everybody seems like they're chasing the same money but but uh, I think as I said what we look for is to maintain quality uh, we're an organization that's going to be meeting performance standards and, and objectives and we uh, uphold fiscal integrity and, and as we move forward uh, it's going to be providing uh, more services to to the folks here in Westmoreland and Fayette County. Uh, for instance, in early childhood, we're now involved in the pre-K counts program. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's working directly with the school districts and helping those young people uh, make a transition to, to school and to kindergarten. And so it's more partnerships, it's more collaborations, it's more growth. Tim, I want to thank you again for inviting me up today to chat with you yeah, about the 25 fun. years, the anniversary that's coming up here in October, and uh, I look forward to the next 25 years. It's been a good ride, and we'll keep it going. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks for everything.